This right here is my current um, charging setup. Um, I am starting to worry about safety uh, and will we'll be rebuilding uh, some kind of safety measurements here. I uh, just wanted to send that out first. Um, I do watch my batteries the whole time and never leave them charging while I am away from the house. Um, but uh, if I don't have some kind of fireproof um, thing uh, to be able to drag it outside, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, so I will be updating that video um, as soon as I get that prepared. So just a kind of a rundown of my charging. Um, I have two different chargers. I have your standard 50 watt um, a LiPo balance charger here. Uh, with my six, uh, my parallel six um, charger. Um, I also over here that's that's powering that is a little laptop um, power supply. Um, now, just a side note for you guys getting the little 50 watt chargers. Um, uh, I had originally bought a small one that was uh, the exact rating of that, uh, 12 volts by five amps. Um, when I maxed out the 50 volts, the power brick burn up. So I went with a 15 volt, 8 amp uh, power brick. And I have maxed out the 50 watts on that charger. And it does not get very hot. Alright. Now this current charger does not do high volts. And as I uh, seen earlier videos, um, I did um, just purchase 4S high volts batteries. 1300 uh Turnigy uh, bolts, um, but I do use this to charge my 3S battery for my FPV goggles, and also um, I do have six Lumineer uh, 1300 uh, batteries. Which, um, to be quite honest with you, I can't tell. Uh, I don't get an extra more flight time maybe a few seconds out of that high volt and I can't really tell the power of the high volts uh, but that doesn't mean they're not good um, I'm not unhappy with them uh, and they were a lot cheaper than these uh, uh, lumineers um, but um, as far as uh, power and everything to the quad I, I'd say they're pretty equal the high volts give me a little bit more power um, but one thing I did note about the high volts is they come with uh, 14 gauge wires out to power up and ground whereas the Lumineer um, standard 4S uh, batteries come with four, uh, 12 gauge wire um, I don't know if that has any kind of thing to do with it I will be posting a amp test that I did uh, with the two batteries um, later um, which I don't know if it's a very valid test though so as far as the tests go, the high bolt did give me more amps, so. All right, moving on to my um, high volt charger um, setup. I do have a 24 volt, um, I think it's a 30 amp uh, power supply. Um, now that's the one I got off of Amazon for $25. Um, and it does um, do it does do like 360 watts um, so I'm pretty happy with that so far the fan does get a little loud but you know it doesn't get hot so that's the main thing um, and then I have my EV peak 200 watt uh, 20 amp charger uh, it does charge high volts uh, it does have a um, touch screen which uh, failure rate we'll see on that um, it does come with this little pin that you can use to uh, touch the screen um, you can touch it with your fingers but it's not as efficient as this um, and it uses a standard uh, XT60 to go from your power supply to your uh, charger another side note on the little power supplies you can find on eBay and Amazon um, Look for the 24 volts because I almost bought a 12 volt. 
Um, this does, this, this uh, charger is maximum of 24 volts. Um, I keep it at about 23.8 just, just all on the safe side. Um, also, uh, the power uh, supply does require a, uh, you to wire up your own input. Put. So what I had did is just uh, got an old uh, computer cord that I had laying around that goes into your standard power supply, cut the end off, and route the wires to that power supply. Um, uh, so, and then of course my charger there, um, I, I like it. Um, like I said, I don't know how the touch screen is going to do, but uh, it was cheap. Uh, so, um, and it will do up to six S's. Um, and of course I have my um, a parallel charger here. Uh, I have had all six bat six 1300 uh, 4S uh, high volts on it at a time. Um, and uh, charging them at maximum that they can be charged at at one amp so uh, and none, neither one the charger or the power supply gets hot so that's pretty happy and the batteries don't either so that's good um, so uh, to kind of turn on I've got it all on a surge protector uh, so let me turn that surge protector on so uh, maybe you can see the screen a little bit um, and I got this charger from uh, get FPV2 uh, so, you know, we can go through the settings here, um, but I've got most of everything set up on memory for the high vault anyways. Oops. All right. So we go to memory, uh, and then I've got up to six batteries uh, per charge. So say I want, I've got five, or four, four batteries. I want a parallel zero charge at one time. I hit that, hit load takes me directly into high volt charging with the correct uh, amps for five, uh, for four batteries uh, that's uh, charging each one at 1.3 amps and then of course high volts um, are 4.35 volts per cell and then I balance every time I charge all right and then it gives you plenty of warnings when you hold the enter button down and all that good stuff so yeah I'm, I'm happy with this charger um, it served me right, and the good thing I like about these power supplies is it's an all-metal construction. I mean, not the power supplies, but the um, the chargers. You know, I don't. It's just you get that quality feeling out of both of them. And of course, the power supply is is uh, all metal. So, this is my currently charging setup. Um, also, I do have a little Free Sky uh, voltage uh, balance lead checker here uh, that I'd made a 3D printed part for to cover up. Um, yeah, I know it's not the most advanced one, um, and I did notice that it won't read the high volts. Um, it'll read the high volts up to uh, 4.2 uh, volts per cell, but not all the way up to the 4.35. And I don't know if that's a common thing with all of them, or just this one. So, um, but yeah, I probably should get a more updated one. Uh, so, that is my current charging setup. Um, once. Again, all right, thank you, Little Rock Out.